These are the JBL Sound Gear Sense earbuds, and it's been five years since JBL launched the original Sound Gear, which was kind of a neckband style audio solution. It was essentially a set of speakers you wore around your neck. And the only similarity between that and this is that the new Sound Gear Sense don't go in your ears and it does have a neckband. However, the JBL Sound Gear Sense neckband is detachable. Now you might wonder how these compare to an in-ear set of earbuds and what are the advantages and disadvantages of this type of form factor? Well, stick around and I'll explain. The Sound Gear Sense are true wireless earbuds, but there's something different about these so listen here carefully and you'll see what I mean and before we get to that the colors on these are black and white and at launch they retail for 129 pounds here in the UK 149 euros and probably about the same in dollars in the US so you might be thinking wait what I don't have to put these actually in my ear with a silicon tip yes that's correct so if you're a rugby player a grappler a cage fighter a boxer and you have cauliflower ears these could be perfect for you or if you just struggle with earbuds in general, I think these could be ideal for you. But also if you want to stay aware of your surroundings at all times, for example, if you're a cyclist, you'll hopefully be able to stay on your bike and not get hit by a bus like that one time I did in Ayanapa. And if you subscribe, maybe I'll tell you that story one day. These are open fit earbuds and JBL have equipped the Sound Gear Sense with huge 16.2 millimeter drivers to compensate for that sound leakage. And for perspective, that's around 50% larger than the most commonly used drivers in popular earbuds. The ear hooks are permanently attached and they have three angles that allow them to lock onto pretty much any ear. They also rotate inwards and outwards. On closer inspection, you'll notice that there are in fact four mics on these earbuds and that's quite unusual for earbuds that don't have active noise cancelling and you'll also notice there is what appears to be a speaker grill on top now i believe this is what jbl uses for their open sound technology and in an attempt to explain this very simply the open sound technology uses reverse phase audio on the outside of the earbuds to try and block out any kind of leakage so that people around you can't hear what you're listening to. Now, I'm still undecided about how effective this actually is because there's no way to turn it off. So I can't really do a before and after, but here's how they sound with this mic I'm speaking into right now at around 30 centimeter distance. And you let me know what you think. So this is how they sound when pointed towards the microphone at around 30 centimeters. Now I'm gonna put them on my ears and see how much that reverse phase is actually blocking out. The body of the earbuds appears slightly chunky, but it's easy to forget when you're wearing them as they're quite nice and lightweight and the hook over your ear disperses that weight really nicely. And to give you some context of how big this case is, because it is quite large, here it is side by side with the JBL Live Pro 2 earbud case. Now you might look at this and think this is a disadvantage, but it actually might be an advantage to some of you, especially if you're the type of person who loses your earbuds all the time. And your case is this big, you're much less likely to spend time looking for it, in theory. And something that I like about this case is the battery indicator on the front. And when you flip it around, you'll notice the USB-C port on the back and 15 minutes quick charge with the case will actually give you four hours of playback in the earbuds. Now let's take a quick look at the app. So the earbuds have built-in capacitive touch controls that can be configured here. And by default, the left earbud controls the volume with a single tap for volume up, double tap for volume down, long push and hold for AI assistant. And then on the right earbud, you have your play pause controls. So single tap to play pause, double tap to skip track, triple tap to skip back. And again, a long push and hold for AI. The app does display your power supply. And if you're wondering about battery life, it's around 24 hours when fully charged and combined with the case. And the earbuds themselves is around six hours. But of course there are variables that can affect this six hours. You could get more, you could get less depending on the volume that you listen at. And something that I really appreciate about the JBL app is JBL have dialed in their signature sound along with some other EQs for popular genres, but they also give you an eight band equalizer which you can dial in your own sound on. Another handy feature is the ability to adjust the balance from one side or the other. And there are various use cases for this. And while the earbuds don't have wear detect sensors, the app does let you set an auto power down timer that kicks in if no audio is detected on the earbuds. Now let's talk about the sound quality and my first impressions of these were, wow, these are loud. 
And this is likely due to that massive driver and this also impacts the amount of bass. It's pretty incredible. The sound quality is actually really, really good and detailed and you get this spacious feeling as well. But this changes when you're in louder situations because they don't seal in your ear like a regular pair of earbuds. The surrounding noise can detract a little from the audio fidelity. So if you're comparing these to regular style earbuds, it's pretty tricky. You don't benefit from the passive noise canceling that you do on regular earbuds, but you do benefit from the bigger sound and the arguably more comfortable fit. And the best way to explain the sound quality here on the Sound Gear Sense in one word would be powerful. And I do think the sound signature seems to be perfect for dance tracks and any track with a lot of bass. But if you are more into vocals and classical styles of music, you can dial up those mids and those highs if you want as well to balance it out a little more or use one of the presets. So here's a question for you. Are the JBL Sound Gear Sense the right kind of earbud for you? And before you answer that, here are my pros and cons. Hear me out and do me a favor, let me know if any of these advantages resonate with you. So a big plus for this earbud style is that your ears won't get that cabin pressure feeling in them and they won't get all sweaty like they would with silicon ear tips. The downside might be, despite the open sound technology, people around you can still kind of hear your music. Another massive advantage to the Sound Gear Sense is the stability. The ear hooks lock them onto your ear so securely that you'll never have to worry about them falling off. And when you attach the neck band, they're even more secure. And this also brings the advantage of being able to take them off and wear them around your neck, which really makes these perfect for cyclists or electric scooterists like me. Not to mention, they are IP54 splash rated, so you could wear them in the rain. Now, one disadvantage might be the style in terms of fashion. The earbuds are pretty large and look particularly retro, and even more so when you add the neckband, but maybe this is a good thing if that's the look you're going for. The sound is powerful, not just the volume, but also the bass, so if that suits your listening style, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. And in the app, JBL do give you the headroom to dial up the mids and the highs if you're into more of that kind of detailed vocal instrumental sound. The battery life is good and the quick charge feature could be particularly handy when you haven't got much time to recharge. And because the Sound Gear Sense use Bluetooth 5.3, you can connect two devices simultaneously, such as a phone and a laptop for work. And if you are using them for work, you've got those four microphones for that voice pickup. But I'll let you be the judge of how good that voice pickup is. Let me know what you think in the comments. So thank you guys for watching this one. What you're hearing right now is the mic quality with no background noise. Now this is what the mics might sound like if you're next to a busy road. And this is what it might sound like if you're on an electric scooter traveling down a busy road. Appreciate you guys for watching this one. See you in the next one. Don't be late.